that. Um, just wanted to show you a quick video here on what to do if you buy some solar cells that are sharp. Here's a uh, solar cell. This is a 5x6. I went ahead and I tried these out. I bought it from a vendor on eBay, which I will not be buying these again. The uh, 3x6s from China is much better. They're clean, uh, no jagged edges. You can see this one he physically cut. I don't know if you can make that out. Kind of pick it up here. But yeah, he cut through it. So right over here I have a jagged edge. And on some of the cells, the tabbing wire connects. And if I try to pull it apart, it cracks the cell. So these are definitely a little bit on the brittle side. But if you bought some cells like these that are brittle, what I came up with is I get some uh, clear spray paint. All you do is spray this onto the back of the cell and block where the uh, tabbing wire is going to go and it's going to strengthen up the cell so it doesn't crack on you. Um, over here you can see, I'm going to get a little spider on. That's right. uh, here's a cell that I just sprayed. You can see it kind of has a sheen to it and it makes it a little bit more durable. So now I can handle this without really have to, having to worry about it. And on top of that, um, where it was jagged, on this side, it gives it a nice little coat. So uh, you don't have to worry about any shorts in the cell. But let me show you kind of how I do that. Here's one of the cells. I was using this before, but actually a piece of cardboard works out a lot better. I put that right over where the tabbing wire would go, give it a shot, do it again on this side, really simple, there you go. So that's going to go ahead and it's going to give it a little bit more protection and you don't have to worry about your cells shorting out. And when you're soldering them together, it's going to have a little bit more strength so you don't have to worry about them breaking. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it helpful. Take care, guys.